Okay, right. we we'll begin our discussions mm. with uh, Lassa fever. Yeah. Look, this disease has been around for over Since five decades, 60s, and yet exactly. we're still not we're still, able to. We're still here with this issue. Now, Nigerians, yeah, Nigerians are on the alert after a resurgence of Lassa fever in the country. Uh, the Nigeria Center for Disease Control, uh, CDC, says uh, there have been a total of uh, 261 cases, 85 deaths of Lassa fever in 18 states uh, since the current outbreak started in December of 2016. Uh, 247 of these cases have been confirmed, while 14 are probable. Now, Ogun State, Bauchi, Plateau, Ebonyi. Ondo, Edo, Taraba, Nasarawa Rivers, Kaduna, Gombe, Cross River, Boronu, Kano, Kogi, Enugu, Anambra, mm. Lagos, and Kaduna have reported at least one confirmed case in the past few weeks. In uh, NCDC's latest update, the outbreak is active in eight states. That's uh, Ondo, Edo, Plato, Bauchi, Lagos, Ogun, Kaduna, and Kwara. Mm. Well, we have with us in the studio an infectious uh, disease specialist, Dr. Joseph Vonigmide. Good morning and thanks for morning. joining us. Good morning. Nice to see you. Uh, five decades on, about over 50 years, and this disease, we still have not been able to find out exactly why rats, rodents, are infecting us uh, with uh, this uh, deadly disease. 80, 85 mm. out of uh, 241 cases, 82 actually. Is this an epidemic on our hands? Well, I think we are dealing with an epidemic uh, in a way. And Lassa fever, like you rightly pointed out, is not really strange to us. It was first described in 1969 in mm. a state, in a Bornu state, Lassa village. Um, it's a hemorrhagic disease, like you know, mm -hmm. just in the mold of uh, la, uh, Ebola, but not as deadly as Ebola. Uh, but like you pointed out, we will continue to have this with us until we actually tackle the issue of environmental health. Mm. Environmental health is very, very important. Environment is crucial. It's a major determinant of health. And uh, until we actually uh, tackle it, we will continue to deal with this Lassa fever. Like you mentioned, Lassa fever is transmitted mainly by, you know, uh, Lassa fever, uh, Lassa virus mm -hmm. carried by rodents and so on. Rodents are almost everywhere. Uh, the other time, uh, Lagos State was trying to, the Lagos mm. State government was trying to kill all the rats in Lagos. Declare <laughs> war against rats. I laughed at that <laughs> because uh, you, government cannot do much about it. At best, you have sporadic efforts, but mm. we have to go back to you know, uh, rudimentary, pre preventive uh, uh, measures. Measures. You know, I, if I were the health minister today or the commissioner for health in Lagos State, I would persuade the governor or the uh, president mm -hmm. to reintroduce what you used to have in the old western region where you had these uh, public health inspectors you we need the to sanitary actually, inspectors yes, or yes, wooly wooly see, mm. personal hygiene is very very crucial uh, the other time where my wife was complaining about rats invading our place and she was shouting and then uh, we have kept our compound very clean but mm. my daughter uh, said ah mommy Maybe they are having the birthday ceremony <laughs> that maybe one of them delivered and they are called others. And they are celebrating. <laughs> but if you keep your own environment, oh what, what I'm going yeah. uh, at, if you keep mm. your own environment clear, mm -hmm. clean, your neighbor, if he still continue to uh, keep his own, this, you, you will be invaded too. Mm. Like we have uh, somebody rearing uh, animals. It's very sad, very close to us. These are the things that the public health must deal with. If you, until you deal with it, preventive, uh, prevention is always cheaper yeah. and uh, better than cure. Absolutely. All right. Now, I, I, we have this, Lassa fever was discovered in Nigeria in the first place. So, it is expected one way or the other that the Nigerian health system or the Nigerian in, uh, medical intellectuals would have mm -hmm. come up with a mm -hmm. vaccine, you know, to, so that even if we are going to record a death, you wouldn't get to the level of 80 or even 100 or even 50 in the... In the you can say it again. Uh -huh. This is the problem we have on our hands. In Nigeria in particular, as big as we are mm. and as rich in, in terms of human resources mm. and uh, even uh, uh, physical resources, uh, Nigeria does not take health as a priority. If this thing was mm. affecting any of these uh, good states, good nations, they will have found a solution to it. Yeah. But nobody's doing any research. In Nigeria, what 
we are after is just steal what you can steal and run away with it. Nobody's ready to develop. We have this. Lassa fever was discovered in Nigeria in the first place. So it is expected one way or the other that the Nigerian health system or the Nigerian in, uh, medical intellectuals would have mm -hmm. come up with a mm -hmm. vaccine, you know, to so that even if we are going to record a death, it wouldn't get to the level of 80 or even 100 or even 50. In the, in the, you can say it people. again. Uh -huh. This is the problem we have on our hands. In Nigeria in particular, as big as we are mm -hmm. and as rich in, in terms of human resources and mm -hmm. uh, even uh, uh, physical resources, uh, Nigeria does not take health as a priority. If this thing was mm. affecting any of these uh, good states, good nations, they would have found a solution to it. Yeah. But nobody's doing any research. In Nigeria, what, what we are after is just steal what you can steal and run away with it. Nobody's ready to develop. If you are not developing your system, you can't get vaccine. There's no vaccine, like I've said, as at now mm. in, uh, for lifestyle fever. But they should have got it. Not even attempts to discover um, well, vaccines by the CDC, the Center for Disease well, Control? <laughs> they will tell you the money, there's no money for research. And as I speak with you, uh, the budget for health is in all-time low. Yeah. I've never, we've ha not had it this low in this country. The best we've had was, I think, 2000, 2007, yeah. don't, uh, President Obasanjo's region, where you had 9% mm. yeah. for health. Now it's as About low as 2%. Huh. It's, it's, it's sad. This, uh, we're not taking health seriously in this country, and this is a very uh, uh, big problem for everybody. We're taking health, you know, money, 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 money. If you have wealth, if you don't have health, you don't have wealth. Health Indeed, is wealth. and like you said, I mean, these fatalities are a true reflection of Nigeria's poor state of health care delivery mm -hmm. and the environmental part that you talked about. Uh, the Lagos state government, for example, you, you said, you know, has tried to wage a war rats, yes. against mm -hmm. um, rats, which yes. means that if we don't uh, tackle the rat population, we may not sure. go far with uh, tackling uh, Lassa fever. fever. Sure. I mean, rats are, are they even in the village? They're everywhere, very ubiqu <laughs> ubiquitous. You understand? Even, even as far, you, and they are very ubiquitous. I have to go there. I they they, they even went as myself. far as going to Asso Rock. Uh, so if yeah, even yeah. they can get to Asso Rock, why? They can get to Asso Rock. <laughs> you know what you said? And you evict know, why, the occupants. Why I actually pointed this out. You know, when you say that, you know, governments can really not do anything, but when government builds infrastructure, yes. roads and open gutters, for yes, example. Yes, exactly. With structures. open gutters, we don't have structures in place. That's the problem we have. Huh. If you open gutters and you have, you, know, you take care of the environment, it would be a thing of the past. Hmm. All right, l l let's talk about issues of uh, prevention for the people themselves. We are where we are right mm -hmm. now already. We can't uh, change the all situation. the infrastructure overnight. Yeah. But where we are from this standpoint yeah. how do we prevent individual issue? individuals individuals exactly yes. how yes. how would an individual no, I think prevent you have to, lassa fever you have to uh, continue to cultivate the community we have to tell them the uh, the importance of good health of uh, personal hygiene and you know i know that in those days in the 60s we i used to, we used to boast that uh, i can catch a rat with my with my fingers mm. and kill a rat with my leg. These are dangerous. We were just lucky in those days, or maybe some of those deaths that were not reported because we not had uh, mm. discovery about this. So, individual health, individual uh, hygiene is very very crucial. So I think we have to begin to commit uh, to uh, give the uh, avian awareness campaign to the individuals that we have a role to play. You don't have to wait for government to do what they are supposed to do, do what you are supposed to do, mm. and then... Yes, indeed, and uh, of course, not enough enlightenment to educate the populace on the need for uh, proper hygiene and all of that. The, the National Orientation Agency, the health, um, you know, providers, our healthcare providers and all of that, there's, they seem not to be waking up to uh, the, the challenge that is you know, before us, whether we're talking about Lassa fever, well, thankfully, Ebola didn't go far uh, because of, you know, that concerted effort on, yep. the, part, on the part of government. So um, let's even begin to look at, you know, prevention, just like Mike talked about. Fumigation, yep. uh, compared to your rat killer, 
the 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 gum uh, the, the gum, gum pads yeah. that seem you know <laughs> it's like that's, the rats that, have become so too many, intelligent for those gum? now. There, there's so many. I think yes. the rats are also <laughs> getting getting their researches yes. and all so of that. They know it, how to avert some of these things. Absolutely. So is fumigation the way out? Yeah. If I fumigate my apartment, for example, or my compound, yeah. and my neighbor doesn't, exactly. does it render it useless? Yes. I mean, you are just talking done. now that your neighbor does his if he doesn't they will invade your apartment again oh. no so everybody has to be on guard everybody but, uh, but are the rats or rodents are they becoming resistant to fumigation chemicals or fumigating chemicals know. we need to look into that also hmm. we need to look into that it could be and like you said they are, they are wiser now if you put down this gum now, they know how to <laughs> eat it. And they just are convented. So yeah. we have to. And um, there's this other one. They, they use this other chemical. They use, um, uh, I don't know the name now. Mm. Uh, it's dangerous. It's uh -huh. dangerous even to your own health, too. Mm. If you continue. So the, I think the best thing is all this fumigation. Everybody has, you know. But if you think you want to set up trap mm. and kill, Mm. Yeah. All right. In, in, in parts in parts of the country, we, we still have people who eat rodents. How how um, mm. susceptible are they? In, in part of in parts of the country, the con yeah. Yes, there are so many parts of the country people still eat rats. rats. Oh yes, that's right. That's right. Even in where I come from, we used to re eat rat, mm. bush rat especially. Mm. Uh, uh, Does the cooking process kill the last? Oh yes, the cooking process uh, uh, kills the last half, but no doubt. Okay. Um, Many virus cannot survive Heat. beyond 56 degrees centigrade. Okay. So cooking process. But before you cook also, you should let me also say that um, most of these incidents of uh, Lassa fever, mm. it's, not always, it's not always symptomatic. Uh, okay. Uh, but it can still be infectious. And it can be within the system for several weeks or, month or even months in, in, a, in, a, a, in a spam, spam cells. So oh. even if it is not symptomatic you could still be carrying the infection around and you can infect somebody else and which he means it can be sexually transmitted is it yes, is it possible it be, yes, yes, it's, it's found in the, in the uh, body fluids wow so body fluids so back to what you are saying that uh, rats you said something about rats they are asking mm -hmm. we're asking about, about uh, cooking, uh, cooking, uh, the cooking, cooking process. Oh, yes. yeah, the cooking process. I can't yeah. even believe we're cooking, talking cooking. about cooking rats. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, 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 but if it, yeah, but if you but those are the like reality. It's a reality. Exactly. Mm -hmm. you, you just you like Ebola. To, if you yes. take care of uh, the bats properly, if you take care of the meat, and the like bush meat, bush meat uh, it's no, there's no problem. But the problem is the process of taking care. You have to wear gloves and so on because if you get contaminated with beer fingers and so on, you have to you can still contact. Uh, the disease. Mm. So the process of cooking will take care of the virus. But before you get to cooking, when you handle it, use mm. your bare fingers and so, so this is. Uh, so in the case of an infection, how do you? How can you tell then? Since it can be asymptomatic, you cannot. How can you tell? You cannot. That you know. So, so there are no obvious symptoms. Symptoms. That, uh, no, there are there are in some cases uh, some uh, symptoms like as but I say not not in all cases. In mm -hmm. fact, more of the cases you don't have symptoms. But in symptoms, in symptomatic cases, you have the CNS, you, you have uh, problems. What, what's CNS? That's the central nervous system. That's okay, your central brain. nervous mm. system. You have, you have problem with the brain, with the uh, cardiovascular system. You can have carditis, that's the heart problems. And then every system of the body is actually affected. And that's health. when it's gone far, possibly? Well, the not necessarily stage. gone far. Okay. Even uh, I said some cases are symptomatic, mm -hmm. some are not symptomatic. Those mm -hmm. that are symptomatic, we, you know, we start with non-specific symptoms, like such as headache, myalgia, coughing, dysphagia, dysmia, difficulty in breathing, and all that, mm -hmm. which you might still confuse for some others. Uh, yeah, exactly. Person, like uh, other malaria or typhoid. Mm -hmm. So, but if it's not uh, uh, readily tackled, then it goes on to something more sinister. Mm -hmm. uh, when you have bleeding. Uh, from the yeah, from the nose, from the GIT, and goes on to some other dangerous. So it's not in all cases that are not symptomatic. Actually, in most uh, many cases, you have symptoms. Mm. Um, but uh, what I'm trying to say is that in some cases, you don't have symptoms, mm. yet you still have infection. All right. So so how would one get help if mm. you notice that someone in your house or, so, or your neighbor or someone in your home has, has or has started manifesting some of these uh, symptoms? What what next? Oh, the next thing is to help the person get to health center. Mm. 
get to health center and uh, because uh, uh, unfortunately our diagnosis skills are not the best for now mm. so even when you get to a just health center that is not so good that's not well equipped they will just probably so prescribe is, is malaria or many of those they will go to the chemist and go and buy drugs which is dangerous but when you see some symptoms mm -hmm. you don't just take things for granted and go and buy drugs on the counter or go to any ramshackle place mm. yeah. well the, the word probable is is a word we understand you know, it's face value. But when it comes to Lassa fever, it, does it have a different meaning when you say what? Uh, probable, the word probable? Okay. Uh, because, you know, in our intro there, we, we talked about uh, confirmed cases and, you know, some probable cases. Yes. Is it that those cases are still... Are not yet established. They have not yes. been totally established. Yes, because right? there are certain things you must look at for in laboratory uh, values that before you can confirm this mm. is actually Lassa fever. Mm. Like I said, Lassa fever... Uh, looks like so many other diseases, mm -hmm. and so you cannot really say until you have gotten certain things that are actually key, mm. that are very important factors to diagnosing. And, and uh, 18 out of uh, 36 states yeah. of the country. That's, that's huge. It's really huge. Mm. So in those, in those states that have had at least one case, mm -hmm. what kind of measures should the government of those states begin to put together that's right now? That's what we've been talking about now. Mm. That's what we've been talking mm. about. Government should really stand up to its uh, responsibility. Uh, taking care of the environment, like you said, got us. Mm. You go, I'm sorry to say, this is the closest to me. Go to, mm. on the way to Abekota, you mm. see the roads are in a state of disrepair. Got us everywhere, potholes here and there. You know, apart from that, there are other things, there are other diseases that you can take care of. So this is where the environmental uh, world commissioner, mm -hmm. And the, thank God the Commissioner for Environment is my friend, he's a doctor himself, and the Minister for uh, Commissioner for Health, they really have to stand up and do something about our environment. Mm. Very, very important, very, very crucial. If you don't do something about environment, most of, I see, envir like uh, environment is a very major determinant of health. Most of these problems we have is because we have problems with our environment. Mm. Government has to really stand up to take care of the environment, good houses, uh, good house, housing units, uh, mm. take care of the roads and all that. So I think all the states in the Federation, not just wait, uh, wait for 18. Yeah, to, for it to get to this number. Mm. Of course, course, this disease started around uh, the Hamatan uh, season. Yeah. How does it further complicate it? And we're in the rainy season now. Is it even well, made actually worse? Well, actually, this disease is, uh, is, it affects mainly, it's endemic in the equatorial Africa, mm -hmm. Nigeria, Senegal, Liberia, where, where the temperature is mm -hmm. high, so it helps, you know, mm -hmm. to to breed the the virus. Gives the kind of just like you have meningitis, mainly when the season is very hot. Mm. So that is why you have it. So though we are in rainy season, but the, the the rats are not. In fact, this is time they're even more, they're even more uh, prominent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, they come around and they breed so fast. Very fast. They yeah, they breed so in, fast. In, in multiple. All right, now. Talk to us. Uh, there, there are, there are. We understand there are different species of rats. Of is rats. it all mm. the rats? No, is not it all, all the, the kind of no, rats no, no, that. No, no. Uh, the multi-mammal uh, rats. You know okay. the, those ones with many breasts. The multi-breasted. Okay. Oh. Oh. Yes, okay. multi-breasted. Yes, those, the, those are the ones that are really culpable. And mm. we used to eat them. Uh, yeah, <laughs> <when> <laughs> <we were young>. <laughs> <laughs> Our people used to eat those rats yes. so, 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 yes. so much. Do you have? Okay. <laughs> Let's leave I, it. I don't have Lassa fever. <laughs> no, 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 not whether you have, but is it in your genes? Because you're what you eat. You are what you eat. Yeah. Well. So if over the years, you know, uh, we've been eating rats, and in some places, you know, where my mother comes from, they eat... Uh, Snake? No, dogs. Oh, yeah, but uh, these are our animals. The, the yeah. point there is, if, if, I, I guess, even the, even the, 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 one, well. the rats with the big breasts you talked about, yes. I, I don't think it is all of them necessarily mm. that are infected, isn't mm. it? Mm. But the, they are the carriers. Yeah, yeah yes, that's right. fine. So, <sighs> but anyway, Dr. Joseph Onigbinde, infectious disease specialist, thank you very much for coming. Thank you very much on for the having me this morning. Thank you. So thank much. you. Thank